G'day folks, I'm just playing around with some of the software I've got at the moment. This is my usual um, editing program, Video Studio 2010. Uh, I haven't changed anything on it in the past and as you know it's just been playing up lately so I'm going to change things around a little bit. For those who are not familiar with it, you don't get an awful lot of custom settings. This is what I've been using previously. Uh, 720 is like your standard low quality stuff. Um, 1440s, the um, 720 HD actually, it, it steps up gradually, not really related to the numbers on here. If I put it in 1920, uh, it comes out as 1080p I think. So, I'm going to try MP4, someone suggested MPEG Layer 4, and the best quality one there is iPhone compatibility, 146.49 meg. So, we'll try that, it's also in standard definition, I not going to try this in HD, so we'll see how well that goes. The little computer doesn't have a meltdown. This has got a variable speed fan and it gets quite loud once it gets gets going and gets hot. I'm going to put some air conditioning on too. The main breaker at the end of the shed's off, but I'll uh, fix that because this thing's already turned into a heat pump and it's killing me in here. Um, yeah, otherwise, hopefully you'll see that V8 video. As you can see, I'm sort of doing an oil change at the moment. It's nasty in there. I don't know what that is hanging out of the sump plug hole, but it looks evil. Yeah, something bad happened in there. Not mechanically bad, but just lack of oil changes and a combination of me pressure cleaning it and being out in the weather has just wrecked, wrecked it. So I'm going to knock those welch plugs out too and uh, replace them. I've got a bag of brand new ones. Uh, apart from that, it seems to be fine. I think it's just got a sticky or gummed up valve from rust. There's a bit of rust on the ends of the spark plugs, two, two or three of them. That was the worst one. But I pulled them all out, cranked it over with some WD in the cylinders and she came up pretty good. But yeah, she's just a bit tired. It's been cooked, it's got hot. It's done all sorts of unpleasant things. It's a very hard worked engine that's been neglected. So we'll just see what the toughness level of the Aussie V8 really is. I don't have a vehicle to put it in at the moment, although someone suggested putting it in the Ford Festiva, but unfortunately that's front wheel drive and there's no provision for a transmission tunnel or anything in it. Those little cars are just, I don't know, they're just a tin box on wheels. Nothing special. Yeah, it'd be rather tricky to try and cram a big heavy V8 in something like this. Not to mention the chassis would just buckle and collapse. It'd be a rather futile exercise. Yeah, forget about it. But overall this thing's running fine. Runs drives just like they should. Sounds fine. No abnormal noises apart from drive shafts clicking a bit under full lock. I'm um, just going to put some decent tyres on it. Um, the ones I've got a slightly higher profile so make it stand up a bit higher. Um, that's about it. It just needs yeah, tyres, a good clean inside. I'll probably pull the back seats out completely so I can use it as a full size storage unit. Well, not quite as full size as the Range Rover was but still practical. I've got that little bar fridge and everything in the back at the moment. Just handy having a car around to put stuff in. The temperature is increasing. That sound you heard was one of the drums of Jet A when the pressure inside raises the top of it just goes bong. That's what tells me when the temperature level is rising and falling. Either it pulls the top in, or it pushes it out when it gets hot. At one point my neighbour had about six down the back of his place, and every t certain time of the day you just hear them all go bong when the pr internal pressure comes up. Pretty cool. But yeah, this thing's chugging away alright. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and chuck the file online. Video quality is probably going to be crap, but... We'll just see if YouTube messes up the um, the uh, conversion. Oh, thanks for watching.